Just go. <laughs> Use it. Oh, right. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go down a bit because my head's gonna cut off. Oh, it's because I'm not far back. Welcome back to the Cinema Minute. I'm Grant Robson. And I'm Chris Allen. So this week we're going to be trying something different. We're not going to be talking about Marvel or DC this time. <laughs> no, or Star Wars. It's or pretty, Star Wars. Like I say, was it? <laughs> pretty yeah, much all we'll exclusively covered. <laughs> um, and you know, probably will exclusively cover with the amount of films that are coming out uh, in the next couple of years. But yeah, something a little different day. Um, we're looking at... Uh, uh, we're going to be talking about The Witch, um, which is a horror film that was a big hit at Sundance last year in 2015. It was only released in UK cinemas this year on the 11th of March. Um, Chris has been to see it and he's got some great reviews for you uh, as well as uh, a lot of the people on the internet what they're seeing as well um, Now I suppose one of the main things about the film um, that everybody's interested in is the actual tone It's been uh, penned, it's, everybody's saying it's a horror film but um, I think you've got a few different views on that haven't you? Yeah I mean again the way this has been marketed certainly is kind of a horror film um, But if you go in kind of just expecting that you may be on some level disappointed but on some level you might be really really surprised by how well this film delivers what it is. Um, it's actually a really complex sort of story that is a real slow burner as well, which I think some of the potential negative criticism for this one came from. Yeah. Um, but in doing that, it really racks up the tension. The story behind this one is that it's set in 17th century uh, America, sort of Puritan yeah. time, sort of New England. Um, the film starts with this family deciding to leave the village mm. that they're living in, mm. you know, with the sort of the full Puritan sort of Christian ghetto. Yeah, so we're talking colonial times, yeah. Yeah, like. so you know, again, and that's a really fascinating time period Absolutely, for this yeah, anyway, yeah. especially when within the first couple of minutes they leave um, that village to go and set up on their own. Now, I won't be going into spoilers here, obviously, if this information is just from the trailer alone, yeah, yeah. but um, once we're out there, that's when the sort of hard times start hitting them. Uh, you know, they're kind of just the mother, father and the children start to establish themselves on this farm. Mm -hmm. Now, the oldest daughter at one point is looking after the baby of the family um, and in a game of hide and seek, <laughs> uh, ends up being taken by yeah. a witch. Beautifully Wait. done as well, we should add. Like, it looks fantastic when you watch the footage. Um, we'll just watch it before we actually shot this, and it's, it's a brilliant take. Absolutely Yeah, fantastic. I mean, again, you know, I went to say this last week. It's been out here for a little while now, uh, in America for a little while longer. But again, obviously, it being sort of a bit of a indie film, you know, something that we really wanted to get the word out about. Yeah. Um, but again, a beautiful looking film. Again, stunning how they did this, but really, you know, sort of desolate. Um, you know, that American landscape can be a really beautiful thing, mm. but with the sort of muted tones that you see here, the sort of really expressive angles too, it really adds a lot uh, to the sort of unnerving horror in this film. Again, it's not an out and out sort of slasher gore sort of horror, if that's kind of what you're expecting. It just really kind of grabs you in so you don't know what you're getting in a lot of cases. Again, you know, um, from the start of the film, you know, and again, the film called The Witch, you kind of expect, you know, you're going to get a sort of supernatural element in it. And if that's what you're looking for, the film kind of delivers it. You know, you see the sort of side of the witch things, you see the sort of coven, you see, and again, no spoilers, but you know, you kind of get this information in the trailer. Um, but it's also a little more ambiguous than that too. Again, you know, it kind of, you, if that's what you want to get from it, you can get that from it. And if you want to get sort of, a little more from it and look into it a little deeper on a potentially more realistic scale um, you know the film kind of gives you those options as well you come away doubting parts of the film you've seen um, which is really effective again you know I went to see this last week and you know it's kind of stuck with me since um, I would really recommend this one for there's fantastic performances from uh, again a couple of Game of Thrones uh, alumni yeah. um, that we get in this one some fantastic child performances as well, which is, you know, something which is always a bit, something yeah. that can be hit and miss, but here, uh, really delivers, and delivers Definitely. really well. Uh, and, you know, kind of, it's, it being such a small cast, um, you know, on this sort of farmhouse, uh, you know, struggling with the loss or the disappearance of a child, has it been taken by a witch, has it been taken by a wolf, yeah. you know, the sort of mystery surrounding that. Um, it becomes 
start to feel really claustrophobic um, as the sort of crops start going bad. Yeah. You know, again, you know, the tension continues to build. Um, the breakout performance from this film, though, is someone who's uh, featured a lot in the trailer and the poster sort of campaign for this <laughs> one as well, and that's Black Phillip. Uh, again, anyone who's seen the film will know uh, this Black Phillip character. Black Phillip's a goat, <laughs> um, a goat in the film. You know, the family, one of the family's sources of sort of a livelihood. Um, but the younger twins are kind of talking through at this goat, mm. and you know, is it a representation of evil? Yeah. Um, it's very Judeo Christian. Uh, yeah, again, you know, the sort of religious imagery, um, again, it's how much you want to read into it. Do you, yeah. you know, believe in these things like they do, or is it, you know, the crops going bad, or is it sort of their isolation and paranoia yeah. um, kind of setting in on them? Um, this is one that I really recommend and really, you know, is worth trying to seek out. Absolutely. But if you're a horror fan, you know, again, maybe it's something a little different. Again, the time period, sort of speaking in sort of, you know, Jacobean, old-fashioned yeah, English, yeah. you know, that is slightly something, you know, you don't see every day in yeah, cinema. Um, you know, that sort of setting. And it's so well established. Again, you know, the costumes, the locations look so appropriate to the period. You know, it is a real transport to that time yeah. and stuff too. So, you know, it's certainly not what you'd normally get in a horror. Um, but if horror isn't normally your thing too, you know, this is probably worth your time as well. You know, it's a really interesting, unnerving, and you know, kind of you breathe in and kind of don't breathe yeah. out again for another ninety minutes. You know, well, it's that, really that kind of touches on the next topic as well. Just saying there, um, how you hold your breath for the full ninety minutes. Um, a lot of people are saying this has got a lot of suspense involved, um, particularly with how it's shot and the musical score. Um, mm. Do you say that adds a lot to the film? Yeah, as well? absolutely. Again, you know, every part of this film is really well researched and really meticulously sort of constructed to you know to make you feel like you're in that world and there isn't really an escape you know they are on a farm days ride away from anywhere else you know the fact that everything places you there and you kind of get involved with these characters stories um, and again you know start siding with some characters start maybe you know untrusting to some others and again, you can bring a lot into yeah. your own reading of this this yeah. one too. Um, again, you know, if you can catch it while it's still in cinemas, I would totally recommend. Um, it's obviously probably not long for release on home video either, mm. or you know, download or whatever it may be. Home video. Home video. Like That's it's the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that on <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you can get this one on iTunes or something, but I suppose that's what I totally meant to say. Um, but again, uh, one really worth checking out. Uh, this has been something a little different for us, uh, a little bit of a different topic. Um, but if you've got any other horror recommendations for us, either, you know, something uh, a bit more mainstream or something a bit more like The Witch, maybe off the beaten track, yeah. uh, get in touch and let us know. We'd love to cover cover that on our show too yeah great um, from the sound things Chris it sounds like a really interesting uh, psychological thriller as opposed to a horror um, I'm not a fan personally of the, the classic Hollywood style of making a horror film you have an, a, a crazy magical enemy that seems to not never be able to die and then chaos ensues sort of thing so it does sound like very different from that and we should also mention that this is Robert Eggers first uh, debut as writer and director, mm, and yeah. just having rave reviews about that as well. Yeah, so again, someone good. definitely worth watching for the future. Yeah. Uh, also, someone who's uh, remaking classic horror and also yeah. as well. So it'll be, you know, his career looks like it's off to um, a really great start. Excellent. Yeah. Right, well, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, make sure you do subscribe on YouTube and also check out us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Yeah. And well. um, we've just had a little bit of a redesign too. You'll notice our new subscribe button on this side of the screen, I think. Oh, maybe I can never remember. <laughs> um, so again, let us know what you think. Uh, we really hope you've enjoyed this program and come back soon for more cinema news reviews, all sorts really. But yeah, till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye bye.